know, in a time like 1989 in November, when communism was beginning to collapse, it was very clear to everybody what the common values that uh, we shared uh, were. Тому що ну, свого часу ми боролися за а, те, щоб не за те, щоб когось забороняти, не за те, щоб комусь когось позбавляти права слова, а за те, щоб всі мали однакові права. That there is only one real good country in the world, that is the USSR, uh, the one good government, the Soviet government, then all other governments and countries were very bad and we should fight against them. Секој систем го раководат луѓе. И поранешниот систем, нели да кажеме условно, комунизмот, нели комунистичкиот, па понатаму социјалистичкиот, го раководеа луѓе. Од кога се случива настаните, да кажеме, нели демократските, се прејде на повеќе партиски систем, каде што повторно сето тоа го раководеа луѓето. Ако социјализмо акцент био на некаком развоју, ако е акцент био на модернизација, уз наравно се проблеми и ауторитарни модели кои не таде не се напуштени, клучно е што се упост социјализму Србија заправо кренула национализму као клучна идеологија. In fact, I should start from 98-99 when we had the war. It was one of the uh, worst wars in Balkans, after Bosnia and Herzegovina. We lost around 13,000 people. One, more than one million people left Kosovo, and more than 120,000 houses were burned. So basically the country was empty. They take it for granted. They don't know how fragile it is, how fragile freedom is, how fragile national independence is. And uh, this, this uh, ignorance or lack of sensitivity will increase because the generation of the eyewitness of World War II is passing away. And that was the traumatic moment showing how fragile civilization is in general. Ако млади не интересува политика и овие се не бавеат неја политика ќе се нема бавеат, а тоа други речи ми значи покажува че е погрешен пат. Презмите улогу во своји руки, презмите функција. Се млади не можеа да гледаат инертно некој че нешто направи. Млади се море ангажуваат сами да тоа ради. My name is Malik Sakic. I was born on November 22nd, 1995 in Tuzla. At the very end of the war, my life was defined by the events prior to my birth. Namely, five months before I was born, my father died in a war, defending the country in which I would be born. Tuzla predstavlja jedan specifičan mentalitet, jedan jedan poseban stil života kojem po mom mišljenju treba da teži cijela Bosna i Hercegovina. Tuzlacima nikad nije bilo važno, nije nikada bilo bitno koje ste etičke pripadnosti, koje ste religijske pripadnosti, jer Jednostavno, tu zlad se uvijek samo dijelili na dobre i loše. Kad sam svi pitali, ono, kao šta ćete da budete u životu, pa se sjećam se to, baš je bilo pitanje, upravo masnovni. I sad su svi govorili astronaut, pilot, futbaler, ovo ono, ja sam, koji je stopa rekao, predsjednik države. Asko, šta ima? Dobar. Evo. 
jer se svake dvije godine se političari obraćaju narodu ili mladima ili starijima ili bilo kome ovaj, preko istih billboarda, a da mi u periodu kad nije izborna godina to iskoristimo kao način da se mladi ovaj, obraćaju sa samim, samim, samim vlastima, samim, samim političarima. My name is Milan Vujić, I'm 21 years old. I was born in Novi Sad where I still live and study law. I have always been interested in politics and I became politically active in 2017. Dobar dan. Pet danas novina. I started uh, writing and I'm writing regularly uh, articles for the daily newspapers like Danas, which means uh, today on, on English. Um, uh, and that's not the only one. I'm writing for the uh, Vojvodina Media Center, like Autonomy. And I'm ri- writing about ongoing issues in, in, in Serbia. Dobar dan, dragi novinari. Kako ste? Dobar dan, dobar dan, Milan, drago mi je. Evo, super, radno. Um, Novi Sad is a wonderful place to live. Great people. But the only thing that, that's bad here is the authorities of, of the city. Uh, that's one of the reasons why, why we started protests in the, in the beginning of this year. Institut Respublika has a own uh, newspaper. Uh, it calls Nashi Visti, our news. And uh, today we discuss the draft of this uh, of this newspaper. And we uh, uh, share some success stories, how to engage people uh, to the some uh, civic process and uh, how to influence on their local level. I am 25 years old girl, Ukrainian. And I am head of the press office of the NGO Institut Respublika. I try to um, help people to be more active in their lives, not indifferent to their lives and also our country, our Ukraine. We are will fighting in the future also for our rights and for our independence. And no one can say that we are indifferent or that we are afraid of someone. My name is Blerta. I am 24 years old, and I was born and raised in Pristina, the Republic of Kosovo. During my spare time, I like to watch documentaries, spend time with my friends and family, but most of all, I love politics. Cool. This is my place. Uh, it's the cabinet of the prime minister. Where I work, I am uh, assistant of the chief of staff. Kosovo is landlocked on the center of Balkans. Uh, uh, Kosovo declared its independence in February 2008. And uh, from that time, uh, is known from more than 116 countries. Uh, we are a small, uh, small country that we have so much things to offer to the world but we are an isolated place because uh, we don't have a visa yet, yet even though we met all the criteria as from EU. Uh, more than 70% of people here are young. Uh, the average age of uh, people in Kosovo are 25. Uh, in the future, I see Kosovo as part of EU family because uh, there is a place where we belong. There was a dentist, a lawyer, and a youth worker. It might seem like a starting sentence for a Balkan joke, however, it is actually me with 27 years of age. I am something that is dynamic and as a Zaben technician and as an activist online organization. Skopje for me is a dynamic, unique, and unpredictable process. Um uh, prostor što se narekao je poznati v Skopje i v državata kako kancelarija na predsedatelot na, na državata. Uh, ova kancelarija ima različna simbolika i ima značajno mesto v istorijata i na gradot i na državata. 
таа беше символ на а, гнев, односно порака од граѓаните дека а, сакаат промени, дека сакаат а, да се случуваат а, позитивни работи. Ние ќе крираме младински центар, младински хаб, мултифункционален простор за млади, каде што ќе можат младите да а, разменуваат искуства, идеи, This is my usual walk to work, although today we are not going to work because I'm doing a research on this place actually, which is called Lakol Valia Morilor, or the lake of the windmills. And uh, I need more information about that place and some pictures, historical pictures. So we are going uh, to the National Archive of Moldova. Luckily, my mom also works there, so it would be much more easier to get this information. My name is Kristina Voroniano, I'm 24 years old. I come from Chisinau, Moldova. This is a small country between uh, Romania and Ukraine in Eastern Europe. And uh, I finished university recently. I did my master in international relations, European studies. And before that, I did my bachelor in international relations. And right now I'm working actively in an NGO called My City Hall. We are trying to bring closer the authorities and the people so we can work together and resolve the issues that we are dealing on a daily basis. This shows how the park was initially built. My mom tells me that actually these people um, were just regular workers, students that were brought for a Saturday uh, common group work. Uh, Kishno is the city that I identify myself most with. I grew up actually nearby this park where we are right now, so I'm very connected with the city. Uh, I like uh, the fact that Kishno is very uh, green and that it's active compared to other regions of uh, Moldova, that they have many opportunities here. But uh, I think like most people, what connects me to Chisinau is of course the people that I know and the experiences that I had growing up here. I am Iglitola. Graduated with excellent results in finance, economics, and judge in media, civil society, research, student representative, academia, etc. If you look right now, the street in front of the Prime Minister is just empty. But if you go back in December, last December, there were more than 30,000 students protesting against the education system, which was not as good as they wanted. I'm very proud to say that I was one of the students of this protest. And one of the students was in the top or in the organization of this kind of protests. And this was one of the most beautiful protests that have held in our country for all these this years, because basically in our country, just the political parties organized the protests. And this protest was organized by, in a spontaneous way, just by students, and it was just for students. Shqiprim, po për gjithë trebat shqiforse, mund tem, njërë kërë qëtë më të mdajat të Balkanit, por një qëtë edhe i ri, nga më të rinë të Shqipëri, pasi ne kemi një kulturë shumë vjetër greko-ilire, dhe më rëndësishmi ashtë që Tirana ka një gëshetimi disë të vjetërës dhe tres, mund që është godina shumë të larta, qëndra, qëndra biznesi, por ndërko mund që është edhe godina shumë të vjetër, për shumë kemi kalane Tiranës e shumë të tjera. I am Esma, a current Georgia's youth representative to the United Nations, a young European ambassador at the EU Neighbors East Project of the European Commission, a host and author of the online radio show Beyond the Horizon, a co-founder of Disabled Women's Organization, the platform for new opportunities, a member of the Council of Rights of Persons with Disabilities existing within the Ombudsman's Office of Georgia, an activist, blogger, peer educator and trainer. When we moved in here, it was already that I graduated. I graduated, passed all the entrance exams, and then we moved in this house. And when he was building it still, when the war with Russia broke out in 2008, and he would stand up on that the third floor and hear the, the Russian military planes flying over, and yeah. Everything was just about to end when we were just starting life.
now I will have to also travel <clears throat> through Georgia, meet young people, try to find out their needs so that then I could voice them at the UN General Assembly, but also trying to teach them some skills that they need, like CV writing or um, how to apply for different programs or uh, public speaking sessions or uh, any other hard, hard skills or soft skills. I am Arevik Navoyan. I have got my master's degree in public administration, but mastered in being a reliable person in my life. It's been three years I'm working at the National Assembly of the Republic of Armenia as an expert at the Prosperous Armenia Political Faction, which is the largest one in the parliament. I work in with the members of parliament, making some speeches for them, preparing some uh, drafts, working out law drafts, giving some conclusions on the existing ones. I enjoy especially working on uh, the issues concerning international relations of the country and also I uh, work with the uh, Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs which is very interesting and uh, I'm trying to understand our international relation, especially after the revolutionary period, which is very important for us because we are stepping in a new period of time. This is a new history for our country. This is a city that's very authentic. It's a city in which you are guaranteed to smile. 
My name is Alex Hamerski. I'm 26 years old. I live in Warsaw and I'm the assistant of the mayor of Warsaw. I graduated Collegium Civitas. I studied international relations. One thing we could do is make sure that people, especially young people, become more interested in politics, even if they don't hold a particular view, at least so that they have a general understanding of what is going on. Uh, you see more and more people from my generation not watching the news. They don't have an understanding of um, where Poland is headed, how this will affect their future. So, I'm a member of Eden, uh, and I would like to tell you a bit about the activity that we've been doing here in Warsaw uh, in terms of Eden. Eden, like a network, is important uh, for us uh, in sphere like cooperation and also exchange their experience. We have so much in common with a lot of uh, the countries where we have Eden. We have like very similar political background, we have very similar social and economic situation. Uh, why not to explore development, successful development of our countries, and uh, why not to bring those uh, ideas to the localities or country that we work. Every member of Edin from Kosovo are in different parties, and I think that uh, that c can unite us to do a change. The uh, transfer of knowledge has been great. Uh, we've managed to create new relationships with people in different countries. Milan and I have been in the first Eden conference in Macedonia in April of this year. Milan is from the New York City. I am from Tuzla, from Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. I can say that I don't know anything about it, but I can say that I'm a friend of mine. After the return to these conferences, we talked about some community projects koji bi mogli koji bi mogli raditi preko Idena i jedna od Milanovih ideja jeste bio projekat koji koji smo nazvali Road to Freedom tačnije put do slobode Jesse ba Malik Stai ma bre Milan se Evo evo radno 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 teo na brzinu da ti kažem konog našeg projekta danas se se video ovaj s historičarem Bešlinom Milivojem Njemu se što bi vi rekli to pravo sviđa i on hoće u tome da učestvuje. Top, 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 top. The main difference that I look at Eden is that it will um, bring people together at a local level, at a, at a uh, regional level, at a state level to talk about um, things that aren't just impacting them uh, within their countries but across the entire region. And so um, I'm hopeful that it will bring young people together to participate with democracy. On the moment that you contact that you are in the same problem, you have more empathy for the other, you want to help you because you know how it is for you in that problem, and then it is possible to have a joint partnership in the whole story, and that is the general idea why we started this project. Thank you very much for your support. Democracy is a delicate process that requires tender love and care, cultivation and time. We are the heart of Europe. We are the consciousness of the world. We are the way forward. We are Eden. We are the future. Besides, if not us, then who?